Alrighty, hello guys, Welcome to Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the bomber, and as you guys can see, she is looking like she's almost ready to go. However, there are a few things that you guys want me to change, and the first one is that you actually want me to add afterburners. Now, to be totally honest with you guys, I left this as it was because it wouldn't, like, delete this bit. Uh, but now that I think about it, deleting this bit isn't that much of an issue. So, we're gonna go ahead and add afterburners to the rear of this. It'll make us a little bit quicker. It'll make us use a little bit more fuel, but should be kind of cool. So, let's go ahead and, uh, replace those with afterburners. Uh, we also actually need to be able to access our extra fuel tank, which is this one. Uh, so hopefully we can do that too. And as well as that, I actually want to move this, uh, to some other location, closer to the center of mass, because I believe that helps us fly better. I can't remember if that's actually true, but I think it is. I can't remember, though. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and do this on both sides. There we go, excellent. Nice, go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, we can actually delete this, delete this, and delete most of this as we go. Excellent. Uh, and to be totally honest with you, we'll delete the next bit as well. Good. Alright, so now, let's go ahead and paint these little bits, shall we? We'll go ahead and paint this little bit right here, paint that little piece. Good. Alright, so, afterburner. That is the thing that we need. I was originally going to use these, but now that we actually can use these, we'll go for it. There we go. Uh, we'll then actually attach these guys to here, so that it somewhat blocks off that area and makes it look okay. I think that does actually make it look a little bit better, which is excellent. Uh, this bit will stay as is, that's fine, and the afterburner will actually work. Very good. With that being said, we now need to delete some area back here. There we go. Uh, we'll delete this, we'll delete this, we'll delete an area that goes to it, and an area that goes to it. And hopefully attach all of that together, so they use the same fuel. It'll be okay. Okie dokie, so we need some pipes, let's do it. So a T-piece goes in here, so we can actually get fuel out and about. There we go, excellent. We'll go ahead and put a T-piece in there, so again, we can get fuel out and about. That'd be great too. We'll have an angled piece on here that sends it that way. We'll have an angled piece in here that sends it this way. An angled piece that sends it that way. And an angled piece that sends it that way. Good. This one will go backwards. This one will go backwards as well. And then we need a straight pipe, attach that to there, attach this to here, and there we go. Afterburners should now work, which is excellent. Okay, so now for our fuel issue. Um, well, I think we should try and get as much fuel into this thing as uh, humanly possible. Uh, and the way to do that is probably to delete a lot of this, to be honest. Uh, this is the wall. Okay, if we delete this, and this, and this, we can actually probably act, like send pipes through here uh, and somewhat get it into the right place. However... This is doing the exact same thing on the other side, and that's not really what we want. So, what if we send it into the wall? Oh, we can't send it down there. And also, I'll need to move this. Okay, but if we delete these guys, okie dokie, uh, we should be able to actually send it this way, uh, down into... Oh, we can't send it down. I need it to get down into the bottom... Uh, easily. Although, if we're using pipes anyway, I guess it doesn't matter if we use a hose. It really doesn't matter. Alright, so with that being said then, let's go ahead and get ourselves a hose and see if we can make this look somewhat okay. I, I don't know whether it will, but we'll see. So we'll put that right there. We'll then get ourselves a... What's it called? Fluid... A fluid port, uh, and that should be good enough for us, I think. As long as it's connected, I believe it'll actually be fine. Uh, then if we go down into here, and we do pretty much the exact same thing, so one of those, and a hose. Let's see if this will work. If not, we'll obviously add a pump, but that's fine. So, that's all good. Let's go ahead and connect these together via this. Can I connect two? Nope, that's sad. <laughs> nope, that's really sad. Okay, do this instead then. There we go. Excellent. And then fluid. Yeah, fluid ports, we'll go ahead and put those on there. And if they need pumps, we can eventually add pumps, but for now, we'll leave it like this. Okay, excellent. Actually, you know what? We should add pumps. We should. So, pump will go in here. Pump. There we go. Excellent. And it's going to be one of these guys. Because I feel like it should be. Should always be one of these guys if we can. Uh, flip it over and stuff. Turn it around. Oh, God. Ah, there we go. And then hopefully this is out. No! The other way around. We need it to be the other way around. Put a block right there just for now. In fact, delete this as well. Put that back. Good. Put a pump in. Bam. There we go, right, excellent. So now we can delete this. Uh, that's excellent. We need a fluid port. Fluid port, where is it? There it is. Good, whack that in there. And there we go. So now we'll we'll activate this pump. It'll send the fluid from there all the way into this tank. 
No, it'll pull it from this tank through, and then we should have more fuel than we had originally. Okay, very good. So, with that being said, we need more fuel than that, I think. I think. So, can I delete this? This is going to be weird, but let's try it. So, delete this. Oh, this is where the stairs are. Sag. Okay. We need to be able to send it through here. So, if I can actually move this over. Let's grab this one. Cut it. Move it over to the other side. Oh, no. Move it somewhere else. Doesn't matter where, but just move it. There we go. Send it. Send it to the other side. I don't know. It could go literally anywhere. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. Put it in here. Put it there. All right. Paste it. Merge it in. Okay. Excellent. That gives us this track all the way down here, which sends us into this room, which then sends us to here. I want to get into this if I can, but like I want to do it sneakily. So how do I do that? <laughs> how do I do that? I want it to be one tube too, but it's not possible. It's not actually possible because if I delete this, I need to delete that one as well, which would mean I would need to do this. Uh, I need to seal this bit off. But then I'd need to seal off this entire room as well, and that's not possible either. Okay, right. Undo that. There we go. We'll send a pipe from here all the way across to there, and hopefully this will be fine. Okay, so we're going to do a pipe. Uh, so grab one of these. There we go. Obviously, we'll just fill this in right here. That's fine. Uh, and this will be our extra reserve tank, because we will need an extra reserve tank, which is weird. But uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a pipe. We can then send it backwards from here. Oh, sorry, forwards from here to about there. Excellent. We'll then make it go upwards. Excellent. Nope, that didn't work. Upwards. Backwards. And I guess we actually just need a, a fluid port on here. And I think that'll be good. As long as it's in line, I think we're good. Bam, there we go. So now we just need to fill this up with fuel. And then, and then we've got extra fuel again. That's good. That's a good thing. All right, delete all of these on this side. Delete that piece. Get ourselves a fluid spawner. And a meter, I guess. Bam, meter's in. Spawner is next. Where are you? Where are you, spawner? It's somewhere in here. There it is. Uh, we'll put that... I guess, actually, we could take out most of this and just have loads of extra fuel. Yeah, why not? Let's just have lots and lots of extra fuel. There's no point in having all of this if fuel is, is going to weigh a lot anyway. So there we go. Delete all of this. And we'll have extra fuel. Very good. Very good indeedy. All right, delete this piece, put it there, uh, and we're good. So now we've got an extra fuel tank, which is our extra reserve, and that's good. That's a good thing. So the extra reserve needs to be added to the reserve tank uh, total, and that should be good. So instead of eating into that, we'll send it to the back all the way. There we go. This could be a reserve tank too, to be fair. This is all the way at the rear of the aircraft, and to be fair, if we did store fuel back here, that would actually be fine. But there's a lot of fuel being stored already, so I'm not sure about this. But anyway, uh, reserve fuel is what we need. Bam. There we go. Excellent. Now we go all the way down to here. We grab A, which is the front reserve tank, which is this one somewhere. There we go. And then we need the other one, which is this one, to go all the way back to the add. And that's going to be added together. Together! Go! Alright, and then this? No, not to there. What have I just done? Uh-oh. What's this for? Wait, this is the ad. Where's the switch box? Switch box is down there. Okay, I think I've done this right. Okay. I thought I'd done that wrong for a second there, but I think we've actually got it right. Uh, so, what we need to do is we need to find the thing for this. Alright, hang on. So that goes down to there. We need to find the reserve one on this. Which I believe is channel 4. Or is it channel 3? Oh, I don't know. Which channel is it? Reserve fuel. It's 3. It's 3. Okay, so we need to go to 3. Which is this one. Send it backwards. Attach it onto here. And there we go. Alright, so we've got a reserve fuel tank. Times 2. We've then actually put afterburners on. Which is excellent. Uh, that should be activated via 1. So let's go ahead and do that. Activate the afterburners with one. Bam, 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 bam. Excellent. And then we need the up and down to be connected to the thing. We need the up and down to be connected to the thing, guys. Which is actually back there. So uh, this goes to here, goes to here, 
Goes to here and goes to here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got all of the controls ready. We should be good. We should be good. I think. So now when we take off, we've got controls for everything. Uh, we have afterburners. We have extra fuel, uh, which is nice. We need to be able to turn on our extra fuel, actually. So delete this. We'll just have an extra button here. Uh, reserve. Fuel. Fuel. Uh, pump. Pumps. Because uh, I guess we're going to have to add an extra pump into here, actually. So we'll slowly pump from here backwards, uh, which I think is a good idea. So go to pump. There we go. Uh, we'll attach that directly in line with this. In fact, we'll go backwards a little bit. Uh, and it needs to be turned around. Bam! There we go. Excellent. Whack that in there. Obviously, this needs to go to the reserve fuel pump pumps. There we go. And then we need it in the tanks as well. So this one and also this one. Excellent. So now we need to see if that works. So let's spawn it in. We'll take off. We'll fly to the sky. Oh, I wish that was hidden. We might have to find a way to hide that. We will try and hide that. But not, not yet. Okay, good. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Du, du, du. Inside we are. Very good. Go backwards. Turn on all the engines. There we go. While that's happening, we're going to go to here. Excellent. We're going to set this to about 500. There we go. Very nice. Engines have all started. Go ahead and do this. Very good indeedy. Run to the front. Sit in our little seat. Press 2. Turn that on. Alright. We're ready. So, our right fuel tank is now minus 16. Why would our right fuel tank be different to the left fuel tank? That is a good question. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look in here. Do we have fuel? Wait, where is it? <laughs> where is the fuel? Where should it be? In here. Why is there no fuel in here now? Oh, I've deleted the thing. Alright. We can fix that, don't worry. <laughs> we can fix that. We were missing a whole load of fuel there. But if we grab one of these... Um, delete that. Put this in here like this. Bam. Alright, we're good now. Start the engines. Let's go. Okie dokie. So that's all good. Uh, our engines are actually on. Let's go ahead and do this. That'll in increase all of their thrust at once. Excelente. We'll get in the front seat. We'll actually do this. Okay, so our fuel tanks are pretty good. Our reserve fuel is about 2,000. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Turn the brakes off. We're out of here. Let's go. Go, 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 go. So our fuel doesn't get used very quickly to begin with. But as soon as we are moving, I believe it will get used a little bit more. So there we go. Alright, okay. Excellent. We're going to continue. I've got a bit of hair in my nose. This is annoying. But it's okay. And uh, we're taking off. Let's go. Okay, so. We're in the sky. We are flying. Very good indeedy. Nice. Landing gear is going to go up. And we are in the air. Cool. I just noticed my webcam looks a little bit weird. But it's okay. It's fine. Anyway, right. We're going to head backwards. And we're obviously going to do the uh, the altitude hold thingamabobby. That'll be good. So let's go backwards to here. Uh, 200. Let's go to 500 again. I like the 500. It's it's high enough to go over pretty much every mountain in the game. In fact, maybe all the mountains in the game. Uh, and yeah, it's just like we can, we can still see the floor, which is is good. Oh, the sea, I should say. So as soon as we get to about 430, 450, we'll go ahead and turn this on. There we go, and we should be good. We'll also turn the autopilot on, which will take us in the right direction. Should level out. Excellent. And that's all good. Let's go backwards. Have a little look, see what our fuel is doing. Our fuel seem okay. Our reserve fuel tank is not budging at the moment, but that's okay too. Alright, let's see if we can uh, move that fuel around, shall we? Let's go. So, in the front. We're going 118. I'm going to turn on the afterburners. Ready? Go. Now we're going 136. Alright, I mean, that's a pretty big increase, but not as much as I thought it was going to be, unfortunately. Uh, we are using a hell of a lot more fuel, though. So that's the thing. Let's turn on the reserve pumps, see if it works. Oh, wow, yes, it works. It totally works. Alright, excellent. Our reserve fuel pumps actually do work. Fantastic. That's good. I think we might need even more reserve fuel, to be honest. I think I might put it in the rear, all the way at the back. Uh, but we'll have to see about that. There's a lot of space back there, so... 
It would make sense, but I'm not sure. Anyway, for right now, we're flying. Our reserve fuel works. Our afterburners work. I'm happy. I'm actually very happy with this. This is good. Yeah. Okay, so just because we can, we're going to go ahead and do a bombing run here. So go backwards from here. There we go. Go ahead and set our destination to there. It should automatically turn us around, which indeed it is. We're going to then open up the bomb bay doors, and we are going to bomb the multiplayer island. If we hit bombs, that's good. If we don't hit bombs, it's fine too. Uh, we're going to zoom in on this camera to around 50%. There we go. And as soon as it's somewhat in the middle of this, I think we can drop the bombs and we'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Fly back down there. Hopefully all will go well. And uh, we'll have a good bombing run session. It'd be great. Okay, we are getting very close now. Let's have a little look at this. We can't see anything just yet, but we're, open up the, we're opening up the bomb bay doors. There we go. They are open. Uh, they don't seem to have gone crazy just yet, which is okay. That's good. Uh, a few of you guys have noticed they are actually touching the wheels. Um, and that is sort of by design. Uh, we need to stick everything into each other uh, just to make it fit. So that's what we've got. But anyway, uh, oh, we've already missed our our timings here. Alright, all the bombs have been released. We should be circling around. I've missed by a long shot with a bunch of these bombs, but some of them will hit the uh, the target island. We just wanted to hit the island, remember? There we go. Look at that! Look at that for a line of bombs! That's cool! And they're all exploding in the ocean too. That is awesome. Yeah, I like it. I actually really like that. Okay, so anyway, for now, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and leave this video here. No, actually, you know what? I've got an idea. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to do one more thing because I, I felt like it. Okay? I feel like it. So, on the airplane, uh, honestly, I like the way the colors work. But something that I like doing on most of my aircraft is having a red wing. I, I don't know why, but frantic red wing, we're going to go for it. So, red wing right there, red wing right there. Uh, red wing on the end, red wing all the way down here, red wing there. Red wing there, red wing there, and uh, probably on the inside of here too, if I can. So, red wing, red wing. Okay, good. So, we're just going to have one red wing. Why? I don't know. Uh, I just think it'd be cool. So, there you go. We're also going to paint all of these in this color. That's going to stay like that. And honestly, this is going to stay white for now. Or maybe it should be black, so that it's less noticeable from either side. I think that's probably a better way of going about it, so we will. All right, paint that back in. Paint this bit. Excellent, that's good. So now that we've got a red wing, we have to have a different wing on the other side. And we're going to go with black. We're actually going to go with, well, grey. We're going to go with grey. Uh, but it should be pretty cool. So we're going to do the same all the way around. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Do this little bit. There we go, excellent. Do this. And that's looking fantastic. Do this piece as well. Paint this bit and this bit. Uh, and then all of this was black on the other side. So it'll be black on this side too. And there we go. Very nice. Okay, paint these pieces. You know, I think we might actually go full on, fully black with that. Let's do it. Oh, I can't replace color because everything else is that color. Sag! Wait, actually, what is that color? I don't know. We're also going to add an extra bit here as well. Uh, and in fact, it's going to go around here, like so. We're going to have a bit of a, um, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, a mask, I guess. We're going to have a bit of a mask on this thing. Because uh, I think it'll look pretty cool, to be honest. So we go, we'll do that. We'll also do this little bit on the top, like so. We'll send it out to there, and there we go. We'll leave it somewhat like that. I think that actually looks sick. I don't know whether we need the blue on the bottom for now, uh, with all of this bit added, but I think it'll look cool. So let's have a little look. Let's have a little looky here. All right, let's get into camera mode. See what we can see. You no, know, it's sick. I like it a lot. I don't know about the blue on the bottom with the red and black wings, but we can change the blue on the bottom at any point if we need to. Let's get it into the sky and we'll see what it looks like when it's flying. I'm pretty sure it'll look awesome, but we'll see. There we go. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Look at this, we got bombs. Awesome. I was thinking about adding an extra like row of bombs, like a big amount of bombs down the middle. Because we can have sliders in between these, which would be excellent. Uh, and we could have some large bombs. Or we could just go with many, many more of these. I don't know. Let me know if you want me to get rid of this aisle. We would then have to get rid of pretty much everything at the back, but that would be fine. I don't know. It's a bomber after all, so maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Do this. Excellent. We'll just whack in 500 right here for now. There we go. And let's go. Let's go, go, go. Brakes off. Excellent. Turn this on. 
I need a better cockpit. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I need something else going on in here. I like this bit, being able to look out the roof. That's cool. But, uh, yeah, we need other stuff in here. In fact, I might add some stuff here. I don't know, little buttons or something. Uh, and maybe some stuff here and here as well. Maybe even there as well. I don't know. There's lots of stuff we can do. Anyway, we're outside. I think this looks sick. Honestly, I really like it. I like it. Having a red wing is is pretty cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and press 2. We are now flying. Press 1. Afterburners are now on. Lift up the landing gear. Fantastic. And we are flying. Look at it. I think that's cool. Honestly, I really like it. I really, really like it. But anyway, uh, I'm actually going to go and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Alright, just as a side note, I'm just going to quickly do this. I want to see what you guys think of it in the comments down below. But we're going to go ahead and create a, uh, a dark version uh, underneath of this. There we go. So now it's actually really dark underneath instead of blue. Uh, and then it's white on the top, obviously. And then I would need to paint these. Uh, and then obviously on the top, we've got... Yeah, no, that's sick. That's cool. That is actually really, really cool. I like that. Nice. Um... Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.